Hi there, it's Simon Hurley. I'm here at the Ranger booth at Creativation and I'm so ready to share my new Simon Hurley Create product line with Ranger. So let's get started. So I'm going to be talking about my inks first. Now we wanted to lay kind of a basic line down. So we started out with 12 colors of these water reactive dye inks. And if you're wondering what kind of makes these different from other dye inks, well the colors first of all are really kind of bright and bold colors and they really match my fun and playful style of cards. They're also a felt based ink pad. So they'll kind of sink into the surface, but I wanted the felt because then you can um, ink up your stamp and make sure you get a really nice, clean, crisp image and uh, uh, apply a layer of ink on there that's really perfect. And also, um, I wanted to make sure that these inks, although they're um, water-based, they stamp really nicely too. So like that stamping is really nice, really crisp. Instead of bubbling on the stamp, it really stamps nicely. And also you can do some really cool watercolor techniques with this. So you can see that ghosting technique there. You can also see some really fun um, kind of water techniques with this big floral background stamp that I have too. It just lifts that water up off of there. And also there's, you know, you can watercolor with it and do some really fun techniques, which was super important to me because I do lots of inky techniques. And when I'm creating a card and I want to splash some water onto it, I'm really happy that they're water reactive. So they'll always stay water reactive no matter how long they take to dry. Or if they're dry and you wait a couple of days, you can still spray water on them and have them react, which is really great. So let me set these off to the side a little bit. I'll push them off here. And then let's talk about the stencils. So this is um, one of my stencils. It doesn't look like much when it's in the package. But you can see here, it's got lots of different flowers on it here. And these all layer together. So you can layer a couple of them together. It creates three different kinds of flowers as well as leaves. And here is one of the samples that I created using them. So this is just one of the flowers. I did it with texture paste and my inks over top of it. You can see that really awesome look. And I wanted this in the stencil so that I can create that different variegated look. So I can have that orange in the center, that red there, and then the pink on the outside, which is really great. So then let's talk about my other stencil designs. So I have three others. This one is called Backsplash. I really love that really fine, intricate design. Really great for some backgrounds. Um, and then I have the Looks Like Rain stencil and the Stargazer stencil. And these are gonna go along really well with my stamps. You can also bring these into mixed media too, but these are just really fun backgrounds that are great for card making too. Now let's talk about the background stamps. So again, for both of these, I wanted to make sure they were six by six because I don't want to tell you which way your wood drain goes on your card. So you can stamp it this way or this way. So it really gives you that versatility of you know, stamping or stenciling and make sure that you can do it whatever way you want, which is really important to me. So let's talk about these stamps quickly. These were made by Stampers Anonymous. They're really great, great quality, and they're printed on the back too. Some, um, some are just gray, but I wanted mine printed on the back here because I store them in just the acetate here. So I wanna be able to flip through my stamps and be able to see exactly what the design is gonna be. And then there's red rubber on the back, which is a really nice high quality red rubber made by Stampers Anonymous, which they do a great job at doing that. So this is a really big, bold flower um, stamp. This is the flower garden. You can do some really cool watercolor techniques with this, color these in, or just cut them out individually and put them onto cards like that. And we got this really nice wood grain pattern. This is called Splinter. Now I love the thin lines in this, and you can stamp this on craft cardstock to get a really awesome effect with it. Now this is the classic flannel, again, a big, bold graphic design. Now, I'm pretty OCD, so I didn't love this edge on the side of it here, but this is actually so you can take the stamp and you can stamp it once, twice, and you can keep continuing the pattern in it. So if you're doing something larger than a card and you want a larger background, this is gonna be great for you, and it's a really nice, bold flannel design as well. And this last one is called Painted Lines. I wanted a really great basic go-to stamp, but I didn't want it to be like perfect lines. So having these painted kind of irregular lines is really great, especially when you're working with lots of ink. And you can stamp it this way, or stamp it this way, or do both to get kind of a grid look too. So I really wanted that versatility in there for all these different stamp designs. Now let's move on to talking about my clear photopolymer stamps. These are six by nine stamp sets, and I'm really excited about these. I actually hand drew all of these, which is really awesome. I have a little personal connection to each one. So this is the Dudes 2 stamp set, and I noticed there was something missing in our industry. Um, we didn't have a lot of masculine stamps, and especially if you're trying to make a card for your grandson or your nephew, you don't really want to put a big screwdriver on that card. So having these different faces and this fun little critters in here too is really great to create those masculine cards that are great for kids or adults if you want to as well. So there's three different heads on here. You can mix and match them with the different bodies. And then all the different sentiments coordinate along with them. There's some really fun ones in there, like one year older, not wiser. You can incorporate that with the dog and the little guy in there too. And there's a little screwdriver. We got a little coffee cup, some presents, you know, um, paint palette there, 
some smaller things for this little guy to hold and then some larger things like an envelope, a gift, um, and different like paint brushes and, and um, some things for those that guy to hold. And then we got this little sweater pattern too, so if you want to customize his little sweater there, you definitely can do that as well. Then the second stamp set is um, space training. So this one has these little critters in it and this little guy here that can fit inside of this astronaut helmet, which is so much fun. It can be the focal on your card. And then you've got also this little astronaut helmet, which you can fit the fish and the bird inside with a little wave in there too. And then you've got all these little letters here too. So it's not a weird foreign language. Um, we've got hello you can stamp. You can also do you. Um, you could do love. And you can do, you know, different things like uh, you. You can stamp and then you can stamp you've got this. So you can do really awesome things like that. A bunch of people have been asking me about that today. So it's, it's all separate stamps. You can make your own. Um, and you, you can really use these all separately or use them together to coordinate. Now this one's called Bestest Friends. I absolutely love this with those little bears in there too. He's kind of the mascot of the line. You can see he's on all the packaging as well. And um, we got those two little bears as well as these two little kids. And again, a bunch of little images you can mix and match for birthdays or if you want, you know, a friendship card, you can put that little umbrella and say, rain or shine, I've got you, you know, um, and things like that. So then I've got all these different images. If you're a coffee lover, we got those in there too. You can put those in the little kid's hands as well as the bear's hand as well. Now this one is super fun. I designed this stamp set when I was 11 and I'm 16 now, so it's great to see it kind of come to life with Ranger. I'm super excited about it. So this one's called Trampoline Friends. It's got all these fun little critters that jump around. This little guy's so cute doing a backflip there. And then we've got, you know, some that are just jumping out. And then there's a little bird who looks like he's terrified for his life. So there's also this tree here too, so if you want to stamp it with the trampoline, you could do that separately. Anything like that, you can really mix and match. And look at that awesome texture in that trampoline stamp too. No matter how much ink you put on that, it's going to stamp perfectly with that trampoline texture in there, which I am obsessed with. And one last thing in the line too. I have this cardstock. This is called Stark White Cardstock. It's a really bright white cardstock, 110 pounds. So it's perfect for card making, mixed media, really anything like that. But I wanted to make it eight and a half by 11 so you can cut it down however you want, get your card bases, um, and really have the freedom to do whatever you want with the cardstock. I tested a lot out of cardstocks and this was the best that takes the ink well, takes water well, and different things like that. So thank you guys so much. I hope you guys really enjoy this line. It's shipping in February and I cannot wait to get it into all of your hands so I can see all of your awesome projects that you create with it.